Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Alex, and welcome back to a brand new Swin of tutorial. It is Wednesday's so new video, and in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make an explosion, okay? And probably uh, people are going to comment, like, dude, you already did this, uh, like, in the past. I think I did one video about, like, an explosion, or, like, how to make an ex explosive intro and everything, like, last year. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create an explosion, just like a random explosion, and how to, um, like, replace it and, like, make different sizes. So, what you want to do is you want to go over to the description, and you want to click on on the link explosion video I made for you. So once you did that, I'm just gonna drag this one in Sony Vegas, uh, which is this one. So as you guys can see, this is just a little clip where I created an explosion. So let's see what it looks like and let's see what it sounds like also. So as you guys can see, that's the explosion. And basically the first thing you want to do is you want to just delete this, um, like the green background, okay? So you will actually see through it. So that you only see the explosion, you wanna go over to video effects and you wanna click over, uh, go over and you want to click on a chroma key. Then you just wanna drag this guy on top here. And what you want to do is you want to just click on this blue bar and then you want to click on this little pencil. Then you want to click on, this, on the screen, green. Boom. So as you can see, we just removed the actual, like the like the, the green background. So let's see what it looks like right now when we only play back the explosion. So as you guys can see, that's so freaking awesome. And I'm, I'm just going to drag in like another uh, like little video so I can show you guys uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to drag in a video, like a deep web video. So I'm just going to place this one on top of the, of the track and uh, let's see how, what it looks like. So this is basically how the explosion looks. So as you guys can see, we have only the explosion. Of course, you can also uh, like re like change uh, the position. So you want, what you want to do is you want to go over to the track motion icon. What you want to do is you can just re like replace the explosion. Um, like I would say, like let's let's make it over the entire screen. So let's see what it looks like right now. So that's how simple it is, guys. That's how you add an explosion. It's that simple. So as you can see, it looks like that awesome. And that's basically how to add an explosion, guys. It is that simple. That's how you do it. You just want to like drag in the file you can find in the description on the link uh, of the explosion little video. Then you just want to drag it into Sony Vegas. You want to apply a green chroma key on top of it. And like I said, you can just like replace it and resize it by clicking on the white track motion icon. And then this box pops up. And right here, you just want to mess around with this like with this rack rectangle and you can make it bigger you can make it smaller so let's say if you're gonna put it full screen so let's see how it looks right now As you guys can see, it is really like awesome. So I really hope that I helped you guys with this video. And if not, make sure to leave your comments or your questions in the comments down below. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for new NST tutorials, always on Thursday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford. <laughs>